Hello, I am Sandeep Kandar and I am a thoracic surgeon. I am here to talk to you about the minimally invasive lung surgery program at Innova. The lungs are located inside the thoracic cavity which also includes the heart, the esophagus, mediastinum, airway, and chest wall. There are many diseases which can lead a patient to need lung surgery, the most common of which is cancer. Lung cancer is the leading cancer cause of death in the United States each year. It claims more lives than breast, colon, and prostate cancers all combined. It is also important to understand that 20 to 25 percent of patients who are diagnosed with lung cancer have never smoked. Despite the increasing number of people with lung cancer, advanced diagnostic tests can detect cancer earlier than ever before. Early detection and treatment mean that patients can recover and live longer after a cancer diagnosis. All too often, however, lung cancer is quite advanced, with multiple tumors and multiple sites of disease at the time of diagnosis. There are no particular symptoms to alert us of early lung cancer and no good screening tests. We do know that cigarette smoking is a major risk factor and that an unremitting cough, regardless of whether a person is a smoker or not, should be a red flag. If the cancer is detected early, there is often only one nodule and the opportunity for surgical resection exists. Surgical therapy for lung cancer, when feasible, is the most effective in rendering long-term survival. So if you're a surgical candidate, what is the surgery like? Traditionally, incisions in the chest were the most painful type of surgery. The traditional thoracic incision went from the front to the back of a patient and involved spreading and sometimes even breaking or removing the ribs in order to access the diseased tissue. The pain patients experienced led to the development of techniques to perform surgery through smaller incisions without compromising the benefits of traditional surgery. In minimally invasive surgery, as I perform it, we make two incisions about two to four centimeters long and perform the operation without spreading the patient's ribs at all. A camera is inserted into one incision and projects the inside of the chest onto a 26 inch high definition flat screen monitor. I watch the screen while inserting instruments through the second incision to perform the entire operation. This surgery is sometimes called video assisted thoracic surgery or VATS. There are a number of advantages to minimally invasive surgery including shorter lengths of stay in the hospital, fewer complications, faster return to normal activities, and ultimately less pain. It is important to understand that while almost all patients are candidates for minimally invasive surgery, a person's individual anatomy or pathology may dictate that a more traditional open type operation be performed. This is something that should be discussed with your surgeon. When you need specialty care of any kind, it is important for you to seek out a physician specially trained in your needs. Many people feel that a surgeon is simply a technician, someone who receives a report from a referring physician, performs an operation, and then sends that patient back to the physician. I believe in managing a patient's entire disease process in concert with their referring physician rather than simply performing an operation. That means that I will see you before surgery, during your hospital stay, and then continue to see you in my office on a routine basis. While managing your disease, I will work in concert with your other physicians, including radiation and medical oncologists, pulmonologists, and primary care physicians to ensure that your care is well coordinated. The coordination of care is just one of the unique factors that help me to decide to practice medicine here. Other attributes were the experience of my partners, the collaboration between physicians and the rest of the care team, and access to leading edge technology. Simply put, I cannot perform surgery alone. I depend on an operating team of nurses and technicians who are trained in thoracic surgery and the instrumentation necessary to perform large operations through small incisions. I also depend on the pre- and post-operative team of nurses who will get you ready for surgery and help you recover quickly. A lot of patients ask me about pain management. Because I do not spread the patient's ribs when performing surgery, there is substantially less pain during recovery. It is also true that with a smaller incision comes less pain. While patients will be on pain medication, all of my patients will get up and walk two hours after they wake from surgery. Believe it or not, walking helps ease pain. Resting certainly does not. I hope this information has helped you and that if you or your loved one needs thoracic surgery, you will consider our program. For more than 25 years, patients with lung cancer have turned to the specialists at the region's most comprehensive thoracic oncology program. At Innova, you'll find cutting edge, advanced cancer treatments, including minimally invasive thoracic surgery, that can have you back on your feet in no time at all. And our commitment to supporting your mind, body, and spirit can make all the difference in your battle with cancer.